Okay, so one of the great things about having a YouTube channel and uh, as my subscriber base grows, uh, if I come up with an issue in one of my videos, I generally get an answer in the comments. And one of my favorite ones uh, that I've had uh, from a fixed point of view was to pop your SD card adapter in between the GPIO pins uh, if you're finding the GPIO pins aren't working with a particular device uh, and they just spread them out and obviously when you don't need it you can just pull it out and it's super super easy fix. Well I've got another super easy fix for my Pi 400. If you subscribe to my channel you might have seen the video where I had an issue with my SD card reader so basically it doesn't stay in. So whatever I do I can't get it to stay in. Uh, it's been like it right from the start. I have spoken to the company uh, and they've offered, if I send it back with a receipt for the shipping, they'll refund the cost of the shipping, uh, test it and then send me a new one out. But I can't really do without a Pi 400 at the moment because there's so many videos I want to make. So I had a comment from Martin Mosfeld and uh, he said, uh, my Pi 400 has the same issue with the SD slot. Uh, to make it work, I folded a small piece of paper a few times and placed it on top of the card whilst inserting it. I'm thinking of maybe adding some tape to the card instead to make it a bit thicker. And this is a brilliant fix. Uh, it absolutely works. So I, uh, I have a Ben 10 notebook, which uh, my son hasn't used for about 10 years. And uh, all I do is I cut uh, a small part off the bottom, about double the thickness of an SD card, and just fold it in half. And then... If you chop off just a little bit of the edge, this is hard to do behind the camera, just to make sure that it goes in easier. And basically pop that edge in about the depth of an SD card and then pop your SD card in, you'll find that it just stays in place. And then you can fold this back under and you don't even know it's there. What a brilliant fix. So let's boot it up and see what it's like. And there you go, all up and running. And uh, I've played around with SD cards and I've been using uh, something for tomorrow's video. I need a bit more time for tomorrow's video, uh, but I needed an SD card for that. And uh, I've installed multiple operating systems, played around with taking SD cards out, put them in, and it actually worked absolutely fine. Uh, just with that folded up piece of paper, uh, it's, uh, it's, I'm, I think I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna contact the company and see if they'll give me any money off for keeping one that's uh, slightly faulty. If they don't, I'm not really too bothered because I do plan on taking this apart because I've got some things that I wanted to try uh, with this Pi 400, but I am loving it so far. I haven't neglected the Pi 4 uh, and pretty much anything that works with the Pi 400 works with the Pi 4, but I've got a few ideas for some comparisons I wanted to do. Anyway, I hope you liked all this. Thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.